Nikki has an announcement, do you? After we have the prayer? Okay. So don't leave yet until he comes. His, his is very important. Prayer is important, but his is very important as well, too. We want to pray, have a prayer of dedication to this team because God is not finished with them yet. I don't know where they're going, but God's going to lead them from place to place to place. And this church is going to triumph all over the world. If we can get this many people to come to this venue in Loma Linda, California, where there's option, that's uh, opposition, let's, let's be honest, this message is going to go through. And wherever you go and wherever we go, we're going to carry this across this nation and across this world. And we appreciate this, the strength. So I'd like to have you, if you can, if, to kneel here as we pray together. Do you mind? Oh, Father, as we kneel here together and as this team holds on to each other, I pray that the congregation reaches across and touch someone next to them as well, too. For we want to lay on hands and not only dedicate this team, but dedicate ourselves. Dedicate ourselves to be your messengers in this world. Wherever they go, you will lead. Wherever they speak, miracles will happen. But it gives us confidence in knowing that wherever we go, you will go with us. And wherever we speak, miracles will happen as well, too. Anoint us all with your Holy Spirit as we're willing to die to self and allow the Spirit of Christ and his character to shine forth. For we are a commandment-keeping people who believe in the spirit of prophecy, and also we have the faith of Jesus Christ, our Lord, for we pray it in his name. Amen. Amen. God be with us till we meet. I kind of like you. My heart is strangely sad. But as you enter the new Jerusalem, turn to your right, walk to the tree of life. And let's eat some of the leaves for the healing of the nations. You've enriched my life. Thank you so much. Tzafut danem. I must say, you have encouraged us. You never know what's ahead of you. You never know how dark that tunnel is you have to go through. But you have made it all worthwhile. Thank you very much. Amen. Pastor Dan.
This is Pastor Dan Bologna, or the associate pastor here at this church. He's got a great announcement. I don't know how great it is. It's just great to be up here with you. On behalf of the Loma Linda Filipino Church, I want to thank Pastor Bob, Brother Ray, Pastor um, Kyle. This is the first time Loma Linda Filipino Church has pa- partnered with Beaumont SDA Church and Mentone SDA Church, and we look forward to future partnership. All right. Pastor Francois and uh, Dr. Walter, um, this church as the host church um, has had the privilege of having the most people come to our facilities. We've had at the high numbers of 1,500 people come, and so we praise the Lord for that. And our heart is also strangely warmed. Um, I'm going to turn it over, but uh, it's not done until I make this quick housekeeping matter, okay? And that quick housekeeping matter is that we need 30, uh, 40 strong men, strong men, and maybe a few strong ladies, I don't know, um, but we need to take down over 1,200, 1,500 chairs. And so um, as we dismiss, if I can have those men come up front, and I will give you instructions on how to do that, that will be the last housekeeping church. And again, on behalf of Loma Linda Filipino Church, we want to thank you. You have blessed us, and we look forward to future partnership with you. Thank you, thank you Dan. I don't want to mention a few names, but I'm going to mention just four names, and that's Nad and Leia for looking after us in San Diego for making us feel so much at home with all your friends that came along to prepare the food. Thank you, that was very special. And then Ingrid and Carl, you have been absolutely lovely to us. Thank you, Ingrid, for all those hugs every morning. Thank you for the fresh juice. And thank you for making us feel at home. And Ray, for carting us up up and down, up and down, always ready to take us where we needed to be. Thank you. I agree. A woman of few words. You're dismissed. Those that can stay to help take care of the chairs, see Pastor Dan over here, and he would appreciate all the help because he doesn't want to do it by himself. 